Hello everyone, how good of you to join. Welcome back. We are in for a treat. We need to infiltrate a Corvex facility on our high security planet. Sigma, as it's called. Juana Sigma. And yeah, down here somewhere there is something waiting for us. Death it might be. Or more secrets. Ghosts in the machine, we follow along. Over there it is. On this fine day. At least there is no storm. My weapon is ready. And there should be a facility now close by. Somewhere here. As long as I'm in, as long as I'm in my starship, the sentinels will not attract us. There it is. Pretty sure that's the one. Get a bit closer still. And I can already see a reinforced door that we'll probably have to break in. I mean, we can also just infiltrate. Just have a look. Target sweep. Always changing the mission for some reasons. There it is. Finalizing the signal. That's our facility. I'm following the symbol, but I think the symbol is not the entrance. Oh yeah, it is. And this is something we need to break. And immediately, we attract sentinel forces. Let me in. Thank you very much. This is infiltration. They're searching now for us. We can use the Atlas Pass to enter the other areas once more. So we do have... It's, it's kind of the same as what we already raided. It's the same buildings, more or less, on the, on the same planet. Uh, with the storage facility on, uh, on the other side, there's probably something that we cannot use. We can definitely do is though looting a bit. Especially the yellow canisters. And the damaged ones. There's some, there can be some tech in it. There's definitely some rusted metal for us waiting. That we can then process. I'm just doing this while I wait for the sentinels to disappear again. Which bit they did now. And with that. Always oh, some Corex casing there as well. And there's the terminal. Oh, okay. We do need to repair it. Sodium we have. Pure ferret we have. The chromatic metal we have. The terminal houses an upgrade module for my exosuit. However, I find a few clues for Apollo. It seems the Corvex within left this world many days ago, apparently recalled on a priority transmission to their species flotilla. Something has them worried. Have a look at the logs. This place seems to have been more than just a factory. It was a home to the Corvex who lived within its walls. It appears that they were experimenting with autonomy from their collective. One of the internal sensors has recorded movement within the facility. It shows me footage of the vents at my feet. There is something in here with me. Shine a light upon it. It is a small hairy creature shaking and afraid. It cries out. The animal appears to have lived here for quite some time. There is a nest in the corner, vestiges of food upon a small dish, even a few clumsy toys and trinkets. The animal seems to have been a companion to the Corvex. My scanner tells me that the creature is gravely ill. It will die no matter what invention intervention occurs. We can feed it with some carbon. Nervously, it takes the carbon and begins to eat. A few moments later, it violently coughs up much of its little meal, only to try to continue the process, shivering with every mouthful. I move on from the factory complex, leaving the animal to its fate. Uh, it's not a very good fate. Or ending to the story. There's also a nice new word that we've learned. And yeah, once again, another terminal where we do need the remembrance. And return to space to contact Apollo for further instructions. Okay, I cannot escape them. So what I'm going to try here is we can install a new tech that I found. The cloaking device. Active camouflage unit. Um, makes me invisible. Let's just see if this also works for the sentinels. We have the solar mirror. We have the wiring loom. We just need uh, two more iron batteries. And that is something, as we know, that is rather easy to produce. There you go. And we should have them all now. Now we have the camouflage system that we can use. And there we have it. We're invisible. That is really cool. Uh, it goes down though really quickly. But at least I think they're... Ooh, they're no longer following us. 
can't hold that for too long though. But it's enough to get to the starship and back into space before they see me. Back into space, we need to talk with Apollo. Oh no. Some pirates, but I've upgraded my weapon system. I would really like to see how good they are now. My photon cannon. Let them come. They found my warp cells. Yeah, you can do this. Right, there they are. Yeah, I thought it would be doing more damage there, to be honest. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. It's actually not bad damage at all. It's way better than before, damage-wise, right? There's one down. How many are there? I think two is two of them. Usually two. It's three, actually. All right. We should still be able to do this with all the shield upgrades that we have. That's definitely more effective than my laser. And then I can use my rocket to give him the rest. There you go. And then it's just one. Yeah, they're going down quick enough. That's fine. I remember it was a jaw back then. And rockets. Boom. Off goes the pirates. And with that, we should also see some additional income here. Nanites. Oh yeah, 230. I love the fighting, by the way. Once the ship gets a bit more powerful. Let's contact Apollo. Your attack at that factory paid off. Did you get any useful information? No. No matter, we have what we need. I recorded countless signal flares when the Sentinel started to appear. Energy streams sparked beneath the planet's surface, moving from monolith to monolith. We must be on the right track. Examine these structures, they are all linked, I know it. I'll attune your scanner to the Sentinel energy signals, we shall soon have our play. Good luck, I'll speak to you on the other side. Alright, so activate a portal. Follow their signal. Somewhere on this planet. Another journey milestone. And we should have a word with Nada. On board the Anomaly. Back on the Anomaly. Oh, there's someone new. No, that's a sour boy. That's another player. <laughs> Nada, hello there. Explain Apollo's plan. A travel entity that is not known to Nada, yet they know our Demis entity, who themselves no longer recalls Nada. You bring news that alarms Nada. What else does our home fail to see? He looks troubled. So what should we do? Polo has kept us safe. Nada's carapace has been Nada's, and Nada's only for many years outside the cycle of data. We help others escape those who might process our re reality. Nada has peace here. Those who hunt us cannot see us. But better to understand, to know what comes for us. Do not stop. Alright, so continue with Apollo's plan. Very cryptic that all is. And we get some Quicksilver as well. So this is a really valuable resource. Right, next step in Apollo's journey. Apollo's storyline. Um, In that case, I don't think there's a structure close by. So we do need to find the Sentinel Ley Lines. And... I don't see a structure close by. That means we probably have to do quite a bit of work on foot. I mean, I, I can still try to get a bit up here. Perhaps we find something. I'm really desperate on this planet. I don't want to to go around on foot that long. But the, there is no no structure close by, so we'll just see what it what it holds. Perhaps you also find some copper on the way. I do need more chromatic metal again, and. Touchdown. Alright, so we don't need to get our sweep in. Of course, a leap through the dark. Activation. Target aligned. Over there. 300 units. Oh! Oh, very good. Thank you. Some condensed. Well, that's that. And perhaps there's also some copper on the way. Might that be? That's sodium. Eh. There's no copper on the way, unfortunately. Yeah, alright, I'll take it. 
condensed carbon. Look how fast we are now mining that. I remember when it took forever. And condensed carbon is really important. 260 units. No sentinels yet. Oh, this is this is tempting. If I if I collect them, the sentinels will come. So I'm not doing this. There it looks like it though. There is a structure, a smaller one. Plus we don't need the money right now, right? All right. That's the traces. Traveler! I don't know what to expect as I approach the structure. An army of sentinels, perhaps? Some gateway through which I'll find Artemis? But in the shifting structure of this monolith, I can feel something else. A story, a vision. It is already burning itself into my eyes. The traveler awoke beneath the shadow of a red star, through the lonely cosmos they fled, yearning for purpose and meaning. They found an anomaly, an aberration, a door to the heavens. No Gak, no Baiki, no Corvex could see it. Only the Traveler could perceive the portal, though they did not know how to step through. They did not know the secret language, the glyphs. They did not know the grasp, the price of the final truth. Let's witness it. I am filled with the knowledge of an ancient Traveler. I see glyphs in my mind, part of the code I need to activate a portal. As I depart, I spot a sentinel drone in the distance. It moves away quickly. Alright, escape or destroy the sentinels. <laughs> Was it a trap? Uh, can I activate my... Hmm, I can activate my cloaking device, but as we can see, it's going down really quickly. And detected. Oh, we're just in for a fight. I might just fight them, to be honest. Let's destroy the repair drones first. And then the other ones. You are no match for me anymore with my upgraded weapons. Down it is. Pelvage class. Sentinels are searching the area. Let's rather get away there. And let's also activate my cloaking device. Very good. Forces deactivated. And follow the portal ley lines. Do I need more? Alright, we do need to perform more scans now to find the other two. Oh, there was another trace detected. On the same planet? Ah, it is on the same planet, but really far in the distance. I will need to use my ship for that. I do like my cloaking device though, it's not really durable, right, so we cannot stay hidden for too long. But whenever they scan me, I can just disappear and reset the timer on it. I think this makes life on a planet like this much, much easier. Right, there's Dave. Thank you very much. I always love the automatic recharging, we are always having 100% launch thrusters now. There's no need to recharge anymore. Alright, over there, next ley line source. Two more we need to find. And there it is. This time we don't need to scan the area. We have a building or structure right here. An old one. With most likely also some language knowledge that we can find. Warning! As I approach the structure, I feel the same burning sensation in my eyes. There is nothing to read, and yet I'm more aware of these words than anything I've ever known. The Traveler. The Traveler found a way. They always did. The first drone screamed when it was cut open. Within the shattered memories of Sentinels, the Traveler found the glyphs they needed. They passed through the gateway, emerging before the face of Omnipotence. The Traveler asked the Atlas how many worlds were left to visit. They had seen so many in their life, they did not wish to die before they saw them all, and the Atlas answered. 
quite a lot of planets, more than could be seen in any lifetime. It was possible to explore, it was impossible to explore the universe before the traveler died. I am filled with the knowledge of an ancient traveler. I see the glyphs in my mind, another piece of the code. I think of the Atlas. I have encountered this name many times in my travels, yet its true nature still eludes me. The vision fills me with fear. Oh no. Alright, we get some knowledge stones here. Can I perhaps hide in here? No. They still find me. I'm definitely eager to get all the language glyphs here. Orvex words. I think there should be one more, right? Nah, looks like that's it. Alright, in for some fighting again. Come to me. Look at that. Coward. They're really hiding behind those pillars there. Smart. Alright, I guess I could flee now? We found more s more traces of the code. Yeah. Unfortunately, reinforcements are already here. Ah, and there's the blizzard now. Leyline source number three. I already found you. Just waiting now for those sentinels to, to disappear again. One moment, one more second. There it is, Sentinel Force is deactivated. Oh. And we are very, very dangerously low on some vital systems. As we approach the last one, oh, oh, it's also right here, a structure. Uh, actually, we will probably need to refuel. Used it now quite a few too many times. What? I was cloaked. The last one. Everything here is tinted with the same red, the same unobservable crimson that fills my vision when I blink. I can only hope this structure holds the final glyphs. Let's activate. Someone is shooting at me. I don't care. Traveler. A purpose. The Atlas told the Traveler they were the first of their kind. That a multitude would follow. Each would be endowed with the same noble soul. Each able to travel from planet to planet in eternal solitude. The first Traveler rejected the gift of the Atlas. This was not what they hoped for. What was the purpose of infinity if you could not see it all? If you were alone? If you would want that one day die? The first traveler cursed the Atlas and claimed that they would find a way to survive no matter the cost. All of these worlds, all of time itself, it will be for the travelers to witness. I am filled with the knowledge of an ancient traveler. I see the final glyphs in my mind, the final portion of the code. Right, run away. Ah, it's not that easy. And we have a storm. I will probably need to hide now here. Alright, at least the storm is going. And we have found all the three portals now. Onwards to the portal. We have everything. Whatever that pool portal holds, perhaps. You jump to the center of the galaxy right away. Who knows? Quite a lot of action. We have survived so far. Quite happy. And let's activate our leap there once again. There we have it. Ah, and there is a structure already. A big one. And a portal. Looks like it.
Hmm. Traveler anomaly confirmed. Breach. Breach. I approach the portal. I think of every passing thought and idle wish that led me to this moment. Within this gateway, I might find Artemis. I might find the source of the Sentinels. I might find a whole new universe. But it's more than that. This is not fate. I'm making a choice. A leap of faith that somewhere out there is in the dark. I will find who I'm meant to be. I step forward, not knowing what I will find on the other side, but I feel it deep in my heart, the call towards a deeper truth. This will be the start of everything. Casually going backwards into the portal. <laughs> And back on the outside. Where am I? Very quiet. Breach, breach, gateway breach detected. My presence is noted. Can I call my spaceship? No, I cannot. There's a sentinel. Locate and activate. 16, 16 Atlas protocol initiated. Am I going to die? The text blinks before me. It awaits input. Hello, world. An audio recording plays, echoing out across the vast interface. We were once travelers. We once aspired to be more than dirt and dust. The audio clicks. Time passes. Show me the world, Atlas. Show me something no one has ever seen before. The voice ends. The interface grows still and silent. It awaits a command. It has been a few years since last diagnostic. 64% of world operating within expected parameters. Subroutine sentinel status error. Immediate a repair is required. Initiate personality interface. All right. Traveler. Reality fades. Everything does. My body, my voice, my soul. All of it speaks to me. The Atlas stands before me in all its might. I want to ask uh, about Optimus. I want to find them, but something is happening to me. I need to get out of here. Uh, let's submit. I try to submit, but it is too late for that. For that, too late. I have belonged to this creature my entire life. A Yosek system, first contact, Rubea. Nevarius, the singularity, new title unlocked. We met Atlas. But where are we? Hidden board your starship. This is certainly interesting. We have no idea where we are right now, how far we have traveled, how far we are away from our base, from our home system. I just know that I need to get to my starship 
and then we'll continue onwards on our journey. Stay tuned. <laughs>